All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about a pretty controversial topic. This one has big, this one has been trending. A lot of people have been talking about this. I said I would make a video covering this drama, and before I wanted to do so, I wanted to get the full story, both sides. I wanted to see what everyone's opinions were on this. I wanted to see what the end result was, so on and so forth. So here we are. We're going to talk about the story, and I'm going to try and give it to you as unbiased as possible, although it's a little bit tough for me. Uh, I'm going to give it to you as unbiased as possible, the story of Wish You Luck's ban. Now, this is not a confirmed ban. We don't have any visual evidence of this yet. I don't believe that his Steam profile says that he has a game ban on record. I'm not sure if that has to do with crossplay or stuff like that. It would seem like he's been banned. He has now tweeted, he's privatized his Twitter, and he's tweeted about he's going to play other games. We don't know for certain he's been banned, but countless people today, content creators and everyone alike, have been tweeting that he has been banned. So it's kind of like... It's presumed that he's banned because he has been, he has actually exposed himself. I'm not even here to expose him. I don't even have to do the real research. He's exposed himself as playing with cheaters in trials. He's actually doing recovs, making money off recovs uh, while playing with cheaters. And the situation is pretty sticky. Uh, this entire, th I'm going to try and give it to you in chronological order. This entire thing is going to go for a wild ride though. I want to give you the most expedited version because I'm not here to make a 30 minute video covering every single detail. But I have done my due diligence. I have researched it pretty thoroughly. And I'm going to give you essentially the abbreviated version here so that way you understand what happened, why it happened. And then you can make your own thoughts on the situation. So first up, we're going to have to look at this clip here. This is the clip that started everything, got this whole ball rolling. And this is of Wish's stream. And these are Wish's words. So go ahead and listen to this. And this will give you some insight on what's going on. Hold on. And he flicked the fucking switch. And that was <laughs> And then Gopti introduced me to Itachi, and Itachi just, he's the fucking, like, he doesn't care. Like, like there was a weekend on Rusted Lands where Itachi was just, like, oh teleporting, using Rusted unlimited Lands. rockets, unlimited scout rifle ammo. Like, he was like, right. and then we ended up doing, like, 15 cards in, like, four hours. He was just like, I don't care. So, there you have it. The clip that he's talking about is playing with a guy named Itachi. Again, all these names, I don't entirely know who all these guys are. But he's playing with a guy named Itachi, who's essentially, you know, cheating, and he's getting, was 15 cards done in 14 hours. He seems to be bragging about it. He's laughing about it. He's chumming it up with his friends. He's having a good time talking about, hey, man, yeah, you should see this crazy cheater that I'm playing with. You should see how many recubs we're getting. 15 cards in 14 hours. And that's a lot of money to make. You know, a lot of people, I don't know how long these recubs take in general, but... For the most part, they're not getting them done nearly as fast because these cheater cards, you know, you could get a card, a game's over in a couple minutes, right? On to the next one. So presumably, uh, you can see here he's bragging about playing with a cheater and everyone starts to freak out. Twitter is, erupts. They're like, what the hell is this? What is happening here, Wish? What do you mean? What is all this going on? Um, this gameplay wasn't actually Wish's gameplay. This was someone recording Wish, though, so to keep that in mind, I, this wasn't actually Wish's gameplay. I think I may have misspoke on that. So Wish actually responds um, with this right here. Go back to the screen. He responds with this. Comes out with a video called, here's some context. Let the hate, let the harassment and death threats begin. And so he begins to tell this very elaborate story uh, with, you know, I, I like to be objective when I analyze videos and stuff. He doesn't give any evidence in it. He doesn't show any DMs. He doesn't show any, you know, proof of anything, receipts of anything, nothing of that nature. He just sort of gives this elaborate story and he does make himself out to be the victim. He even calls himself the victim right at the start. He says he's a victim of cancel culture, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that's what his story is. And the the big the big uh, thing that he's trying to hit at with this is that he believes that his daughter was swatted, which is when like the cops show up and you know raid your house when you're streaming, or I guess raid the school that was happening. He believed that this was what was happening and that it was these cheaters that were doing that to him and essentially blackmailing him into playing with them so that they could get recubs. That's his story. That's what he's going with. And this happened over the course of... The timelines changed depending upon whose opinion you ask, but roughly this happened over the course of a year to a year and a half. So a year and a year and a half, he's being blackmailed into playing with cheaters, doing recubs, and making a ton of money off of this. So whether or not, whether or not you choose to believe that, whether or not that's actually the truth, if that, that swatting did happen, we don't entirely know yet. Maybe we'll get the full story on that. Maybe we won't. We don't know what's going to happen here for the future. I'm giving you everything that I have at this point in time. And if I have to update you later on, I will. So we've got that. That's what happens right there. Then moving on to the next part, we'll show uh, this other clip that we have here. 
we go up here close video up this one's pretty crazy as well this gives some insight into this another clip Bungie, of wish like, speaking linked you guys together somehow and what it is your wish if we're about to lose is it cool if itachi uses his rpm cheats uh i feel like we won't lose against anybody to be honest okay no, I don't even have my RPM injected right now. Oh, rip. Yeah, those are different sheets, right? Yeah, yeah. I've got past the Jamie right now. I don't even have RPM. Yeah, we're good, we're good. We're good. Like, if you, and, if you and Itachi run together at all times, we will not lose a game. Because every person that toggles you, you'll toggle back, and then they'll need multiple cheaters to win. Okay. That is true, that is true. Just you guys stick together like glue. Just leave me alone. I'm, I'm Red Rocky. I'll be off on the fucking other side of the map. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Oh, how did my aim on not lock five as well? All right, so that is that clip, and my opinion would be, uh, uh, I don't know, that doesn't necessarily seem like someone that's being blackmailed to me. Let me know your thoughts down below. It's a tough situation, obviously, and uh, it's hard to, you know, make assumptions about certain things. Again, I'm a big evidence person when it comes to issues like this. Show the evidence, show the DMs, show what happened, when it happened, everything, you know, create the timeline for us. So that way we can believe your story a little bit more because we don't just want he said, she said type stuff. We want to know the full story of what happened here. And so after that issue happens, then we go on to the next part that I want to talk about, which is this, which is quite funny when you think about this. There's a, actually a video here called Trials vs. Lucky 10P, and I'm not going to get too personal in this video, but I just felt like it was worth mentioning that the guys that Wish actually calls cheaters are both these guys right here. Um, and either I can show a video tying um, Terrestrial to Itachi later. Um, there's both guys right here. Uh, he's calling them cheaters, and he's playing with them, and he matches me in Trials, and then uploads the video to get views on his YouTube channel. Now, again, uh, we don't know if he's being blackmailed, but he's not being blackmailed to uploading this YouTube video. So he's choosing of his own volition to decide, I beat Lucky and Gold Eagle doing a carry in Trials with my stacked cheater team, and I'm going to now upload it. And if you don't think that this is a video of people cheating, go ahead and watch this video, because this is actually the most sus video I've ever seen. They start to lose, and then they just immediately bring it back with snipes. And they have zero comms the entire time. They don't say one single word throughout the entire video. And I thought that was unbelievably suspicious and incredibly laughable. And not to mention, this isn't the first time he's done this. He's made, he's made a few videos talking about, or beating other content creators, Frostbolt, ZK Mushroom, where the exact same thing happens. There's no comms throughout the entire video, which, again, I'm not saying that means that there is for sure cheating happening because if you don't see the cheating on the screen, you can't just assume cheating's happening. But dear God, on the level of sus scale, that's at least a 9 out of 10, all right? So I have to throw that out there because if you are being blackmailed into playing with cheaters, you're not being blackmailed into uploading these videos, so you're still making extremely uh, messed up decisions while you're uh, knowingly playing with cheaters, which is the big issue here. You are knowingly playing with cheaters. You know these guys are cheating. You're choosing to play with them and upload videos of you beating content creators along the way. Just wanted to throw that in there. On to the next point that we're going to talk about, which is that these guys then choose to respond. We have uh, Timpa and Itachi and all these guys. They come up with their own video right here called The Truth About Wish You Luck. And I'm going to give you, you know, the summary of this video as well, where basically they talk about how Wish sort of coerced them. They're kids in UK or some young kids in UK. And Wish basically coerced them into using cheats and trying out cheats so that way they could get more recovs done and get them done faster. And so essentially the story is the exact opposite. And they claim that they did not swat his daughter at all, that this entire thing happened during the COVID year where I don't think if kids were even in school at that point in time, one. And two, I don't think that if you were to swat an elementary school, it would be the same result as what we've seen when people swat other people's homes, right? When people swat other people's homes, the police burst in with assault rifles i you know and their point that they're trying to make is that they don't really see uh police bursting into an elementary school with assault rifles drawn uh it doesn't really seem appropriate so they do actually make some good points and they actually show some evidence and i'm not giving too much credit to these guys because honestly they're they're using cheats and playing with cheaters so like we can't really take everything they say uh as being completely honest because obviously they're dishonest people in that they're doing you know recubs making money etc with cheats so the whole thing is kind of just thrown into the air of like, who do you want to believe? Who's the side do you want to take? Do you want to believe this side? Do you want to believe that side? And the whole thing is a bit of a shit show. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think about this bit of drama? Personally, 
I don't know what to make of all of this, and I don't really want to give my opinion too much on it because I don't want to get all the heat and all the flack from saying one thing one way or the other. I just wanted to present the news to you of what is going on, give you a chronological order of events, and lastly, the f thing that I need to say every time I talk about these issues, and I always choose to do this, is that don't give people harassment, okay? Don't give wish harassment, don't give the cheaters harassment, don't give anyone harassment, all right? If you don't like someone on social media, if you don't like someone in life in general, being mean to them, being nasty to them, harassing them doesn't help the situation at all. No one's ever like, wow, I was a real asshole, and then, you know, to you, and then uh, you started to be really toxic and harass me, so then we became friends. Like, that's not really how it works, you know what I'm saying? If you don't like someone, just ignore them. Choose to ignore them, unfollow them if you must, block them if you have to, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Just don't choose harassment. Choose to be a good community. Choose to be a positive community. The Destiny community has some of the best people out there. I hope that none of you out there choose harassment in this situation. And that is the news story. Make sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all the news and drama in Destiny 2. Smash the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.